All right, guys, there's this new game mode called Crimson Doubles. It's around for the Crimson Days event. Here's some tips to make sure you have a good time with your partner. First off, you have to join in with a friend. There isn't any matchmaking for this. If you need a partner, try out DestinyLFG.net or one of the many other resources in the community. So as tradition with Destiny, the smaller the game mode, the more intimate it is. This holds true here since you have to really rely on your partner to get through a game. The game type is Elimination, just like Trials of Osiris. So if you or your partner goes down, you're at somewhat of a disadvantage until you can get a res. Fortunately, if you're the last one standing on your team, you do get a buff that will completely max out your armor, recovery, agility, and weapon handling speed. Reload speed is in that category as well, so you can easily down an opponent and quickly reload your weapon to ensure you have a full mag for the next fight. Normally, you get someone low with a sniper shot and then you can push in, but since everyone has maxed out recovery, they regenerate health extremely quickly, so you need to keep doing damage to them to make sure you can land a kill easily. Now would be a good time to say that level advantages are not enabled, so you can use anything in your loadout. Of course, that means you'll be seeing Thorn. Lots and lots of Thorn. My major gripe with this is that it completely negates the stat increase mechanic that this game mode is built around. Something, something, Bungie, please take damage over time effects out of PvP, please, okay, thanks. This game mode also has the new special ammo changes in it, so you will not be spawning in ready to go camp those sniper lanes. I saw a lot of people trying out Icebreaker again for the very first round and then switching to another secondary in a later round. Sidearms were also pretty popular since they spawn in with ammo. As far as strategies go, we usually played the first round kind of slow. Once special ammo was up, we would grab that and then start playing a little bit more aggressively. Knowing you have a secondary weapon you can swap to is always really good. Normally, when you down one player, you start moving in and eliminating the others, but here you have to be wary. The one living member of their other team now has a buff and can regenerate that health very quickly. So if you make a push, you need to do it together as a team and overwhelm that last opponent. If they get their partner revived, then they'll lose that buff fortunately. As always, snipers are going to do really good work here since a single headshot can eliminate anyone. If you can get a quick win in the starting round before the other team can get special, then use that momentum going forward. If you're stronger using your primary weapons, then try to make the other team never get special and just keep being aggressive. Now, if your partner dies, I suggest either getting a quick res if possible. Otherwise, take advantage of that stat buff and gain some distance between you and your attackers. If you're using a sniper, keep running and repositioning to new sniping lanes until you can get a pick. Use this time to hopefully get a res on your partner and reset. Rounds are just like trials in that if they go to time, there will be a capture zone spawning, so be ready to move to that if you're getting close to time. It's a good idea to try and pick off the enemy team as they try to capture that, especially if you're unable to res your partner. For specs, I highly suggest using Gunslinger or Night Stalker if you are a hunter. If you're a Blade Dancer, you already have problems with people running from your super. Now if you need to kill the last enemy, they have an agility boost and can easily bail from you. For Titan, Striker is just going to be your best bet. Sunbreaker again can be run from and Defender is… well it takes a unique breed of player to use that well here. For Warlocks, Sunsinger reigns king as always with their burn grenades. Self res is also very potent since you will gain the power buff if you res being the only one alive. So yeah, best of luck to everyone trying out this new mode. Remember, if you're having trouble, just take the easy way out and use Thorn. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny, your guide to the Destiny universe.